Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel, Jamie Friend Colors. I'm Jamie, and today is video two of our mini series on hair. And so we just did a mini series on skin, so we're doing hair now. Hopefully, you can put those together and have a beautiful girl or guy, if that's what you're coloring. And um, anything I use will be in the description box down below. Any colors I'm using will be on the screen up here, so you can follow along with me. Um, Anything else? I don't know. So this is kind of the color we are going for today. It's kind of a brownish purple, which I love. It's something I tend to dye my own hair. <laughs> so I wanted to um, incorporate that, some purples and browns into the hair. So that's going to be fun today. I'm using Prismacolor Premier Pencils. Um, I will have a link for them in the description box down below. They're not affiliate links or anything. They're just there for your convenience so you can find them. You can also order Prismacolors um, by just the pencil, the singles, for about $1.29 on Dick Blick or Jerry's Artorama. Um, I order mine from Dick Blick. I had a bad experience with Jerry's. They didn't package my pencils right and it was just a fiasco. But on Dip Blick, when I order pencils, there's a little thing that says special instructions and I always ask for extra bubble wrap. And my pencils come like, you could do anything with that package. Those pencils are gonna be safe. They are, they look like a football. They are wrapped in so much bubble wrap and it is awesome. So um, yeah, so you can do that. Maybe I'll leave the links for those down below as well, whichever is most convenient for you. And all right, we'll zoom in and get started. I love these cute girls. Aren't they cute? This picture is from the Colorage Wild 3 by Emmanuel Collin, and I just think they are so adorable. And it's great paper, too, so that's always a plus. So, this girl is um, ready to be colored. All right, so we're gonna start with grade lavender, and that's what we're gonna use to put down a base coat. This is just to get a color on the page, get us primed, ready to add other colors. It gives us our highlight color. It's just great to just put a base coat down. I'm using very light pressure. As you can see, I'm holding my pencil way out here. And then just getting the color on the paper, light color, no pressure, not concerned about anything right now. This girl is so cute, look at those freckles, so cute. Okay. All right, we got a little braid here. Just get that color on there. It's so light, you probably can't even notice it on the video, but it is on there. All right. Then we're gonna to go to our darkest color. And today our darkest color is going to be Black Grape 996. This is a very dark purple. It comes off as almost black. This is gonna go in our shadows. So we're gonna start way back in our shadow and we're gonna place the pencil on the paper. We're gonna pull our pencil out, lifting it off the paper as we go so that when we finish our stroke, our pencil is not touching the paper. So we're just gonna flick a little bit. We're gonna stay in those shadows, flick it on there. And that's the stroke for this entire tutorial. You're gonna stick the pencil down in the deepest, darkest shadow area. You're gonna pull and lift at the same time. It's important to keep your pencil sharp while we do this. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit more. A sharp pencil is going to work better, so don't be afraid to pull out that sharpener and give it a good sharpen. Prismacolors do wear down quickly, but they're also one of our cheapest options in a professional grade colored pencil. You can also do this with 
any colored pencil, it doesn't have to be Prisma. You could pick something else and just choose colors that are similar. In those deep dark shots, and I want to move in the direction, flick in the direction that the hair is moving. So the hair is swooping down here. Right now I'm swooping up, and then I'll swoop down. Just pulling this color out of the shadows. But I'm never going to move in a perpendicular to the way that the hair is moving. That's not the look I want. I want to move in the direction of the hair. Okay. Looking good so far. So here, I'm hoping not to make a huge shadow, but I want to pull out from this shadow. Please rotate your paper so that you can flick in a direction that's comfortable for you. I'm trying to keep my paper straight and flat for your viewing pleasure, but you're not doing that, so make sure you rotate your paper in a direction that is most comfortable for your hand. This is in the shadow because it's behind this other hair. Also, I said on my first video, you don't have to use these pictures that I'm using. You can take this hair color and apply it to any picture. Just look for creases or what's behind. You want the shadows on hair that's behind other hair. You want it if it's behind an object, if there's a crease in the hair. That's where you want the shadows, and that's where you want to start your flicking motion. Start in that deep dark shadow area. Flick it out. Okay, here we have, we're starting into a braid. And so each time the hair goes into the braid, that's going to be darker. We also have this hair back here that's way in the shadow, so we'll make sure we get some on there. Okay, so we're on this braid, and so the hair's coming down and behind this piece of hair. So this is gonna be darker because it's going in behind the piece of hair. And then if you look at this piece right here, we have it coming, this is coming out from behind this piece. So it's gonna be a little darker there, but we want a highlight right in the middle, so we don't wanna flick out too far. And then it's going behind this piece of hair. So we're going to want to shadow there, but we want to leave that center pretty light. So that's our goal on all of these. So you kind of have it darker on the edges and brighter in the center because not only is it not in the shadow, but it's raised, right? And so it's going to be lighter. It's going to give that effect. My husband just called, he's getting ready to come home from work. He works at, he's a pharmacist, but he works at a grocery store. So he was making sure I didn't need anything before he comes home. Which is nice. I told somebody once that my husband worked, you know, at, the gro at a grocery store. He's a pharmacist. And they're like, oh, that'd be so nice to never have to go grocery shopping. I was like... Well, I'm not going to make him. He's there working. He's not there buying groceries. <laughs> like, he doesn't have time for that. It's not his job to bring home all the groceries. He's there to work. <laughs> but he is good about, you know, making sure if there's anything, any small little thing that I might need, he'll pick it up before he comes home. But <laughs> I don't make him do the grocery shopping just because he works at a grocery store. So, anyways... Okay, I think that gives us all of our shadows. Take a step back and look, see if there's anything you, else you want. You can always go back in and make anything darker later. 
All right, then we're gonna go to dark purple and we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna start way back in the deep dark shadows and we're gonna flick forward and just past the black grape that we put down. Doing the same exact flicking motion. I'm not putting a lot of pressure. It's very light. Maybe start with a medium pressure and then it just gets lighter as you pull your pencil across the paper because you're lifting up, right? And flicking. It's going to look pretty purple for a minute, but we'll add those browns in and it won't look so purple, but just kind of flick it in. Just going to keep doing that. I find hair to be very relaxing to color. I get a little meditative. You go in a trance. Ooh, the world disappears. <laughs> it's nice. Um, so I tried to, I could do it for hours. So I tried to pick girls that didn't, were a little bit smaller, didn't have too much hair to contend with so that these videos weren't super long, but because I want to be able to do the whole of hair for you. So I'm just starting in those where I put that black grape and just flicking it out further. You can add a few stripes here and there. Hair's pretty forgiving. Be just fine. I have this piece up here. I'm just gonna have to turn my paper you guys. It's just an awkward Flick. I'm going to start and flick out. Want your pencil sharp. Okay, let's come down here now. I'm just going to do the same thing. Just core that. Black grape and flick it out. We want to leave that highlight though, remember, in the middle of each of these braids as we come down them. Maybe add one down there. So we're going to do it flicking in. Our strokes are going to be pretty short down here so that we leave that highlight. Tried to mix these tutorials up so we got kind of a natural hair color and then kind of a fun hair color and another natural hair color and then another fun color. This is one of my favorites though. I really like this purple. Just flick it in. I'm washing my hand when it covering so much. Flick it in. Make sure your pencil's sharp so you can get those little strokes. some stray hairs we'll kind of put in there. Okay, then we can go into some of these browns. We're going to start with chocolate, 1082. But we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to start it back in the deep dark shadow. We're going to pull it out and just pull it out maybe a little bit further than that dark purple. Putting this brown over the top of the purple is going to tone down the purple 
If you don't want the brown in there, you don't have to put it in there. If you want purely purple hair, that's okay. I'm going to put this brown in there. I'm putting it right over the top of that purple. Flicking it past a little bit. But leaving highlights. Always moving in the direction of the hair. Finding that sharp point on the pencil to help us get nice crisp lines. And we can add some brown coming out here. I need to fill in this area as well, so might as well get it in there. Said hair is pretty forgiving. If you haven't noticed, your hair tends to stand up on end and move in all direction. And if you have dry, slightly curly hair like mine, it tends to get frizzy and go all over the place. Same with these down here with the braids. We're going to leave that highlight in the center of each of them, but pull that brown through, flick it out. Forgot this little piece up here. You kind of pull just in the outside of this. go. Okay, then we have Sandbar Brown 1094 and we'll just do the same thing. Let's pull it out. This is our lightest brown color and then we'd go back to that gray to lavender next. So kind of fill in with this anything. You see, pull anything together more that you feel needs to be pulled together. I do. I love this hair color. Oh my goodness. 
favorites. I wonder if I take this picture to my hairdresser and be like, this is what I want. She'd probably laugh at me. It's pretty close to actually what I have in the past anyways. Just a brown violet purple undertones to my brown. Alright, we gotta fill in some of this. Look it in there. Fill in some of those gaps. We want highlights, but we don't want huge gaps at this point. So kind of fill them in. Keep our pencil sharp. Alright, down into this braid. Still keeping that highlight. We're gonna put that purple, that gray lavender back in there. I hope. Alright, then let's go in with that gray lavender. Let's make sure it's nice and sharp. Tonight I'm using the TGAAL sharpener. This is a nice sharpener. You can use the dial to help decide how sharp or what shape you want your pencil. Um, it's good. I don't know. found it on Amazon. I'm trying out a couple of different sharpeners. Right now, so that's the one I'm using tonight. My electric sharpener is on the fritz. And this is the second type of electric sharpener that I've had that's on the fritz. And so I'm trying out different ones, some hand sharpeners. <laughs> All right, so this time we're doing, we're gonna fill in the light. We kind of wanna help bring the colors together, but we don't wanna blend, because we don't wanna lose that hair texture. So I'm still, kind of flicking, kind of arch, arcing, like moving in the direction of the hair to kind of just bring those colors together. Okay, so we're gonna do that in here, kind of just going back and forth, but in the direction of the hair. I'm not using a lot of pressure. I don't want to blend those colors together. So I don't want to use a lot of pressure. But I just want to kind of have them come together and then have that highlight there in the middle. Okay, even back in here, even in these dark places, I'm going to put this color in there just to kind of help. Okay. 
kind of see the difference that that makes kind of brings it together like it doesn't you don't want to blend away all the texture but it kind of smooths it out a little bit just moving in the direction of the hair. I don't care about blending it out perfect. I don't want a solid color. I want texture. I want it to look like hair. Okay. Always moving in the direction of the hair with a sharp point to my pencil that's going to help me. Bit. I'm going to come up and get this up here. sure our pencil is sharp. A little twist. Alright. here as well. All right. Now this is where we kind of like take a step back, see if we like it, see if there's anything we want to change or darken. I love that braid. I love this hair back here. This here, I don't know. It just seems a little bit light to me, a little bit disconnected. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to choose to start with the dark purple. I'm just going to put a little more dark purple in here a little bit. It kind of has like a bend in the hair where it's kind of coming towards her face a little bit. I think we could darken that up a little bit. So let's put some more of this dark purple in there and then kind of bring it from here. This is the time where we can stop whenever we want but we just kind of help. Let's see add any more color we want. Let's get around her nose. I just feel like we need a little more color in here. Okay, it looks like it's kind of coming towards her face again. We'll kind of put that Let's also come from up here. I'm going to turn my paper. Okay. All right, then let's take the chocolate and let's put that over that dark purple that we all know that we just put in. Just 
still doing those flicking motions. I'm still coming out from those shadows that hasn't changed. I'm just adding more color in places that I want more color. Still want a sharp pencil, sharp pencil. do the sandbar brown as well. Just build that color up. Blend it out a little bit. Not a lot though because we want that texture. Okay, now let's get our black glue. Our black grape, and we want to put this in anywhere that we just want a little more shadow, a little more shading. Anything we feel needs just a little bit more attention. Okay, I think we're getting about there. So nice. So much fun just to sit, relax, add some color on a page. Love it. It's great fun. Okay. Oh, I think that looks wonderful. Looks so nice. I love all the different colors. I love how it looks like there's more light over here. Okay. The shadows, how it gets more purple, brown. I just love it. It's so nice. All right. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you like this mini series, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so you can see all of my videos. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I hope you guys find time to relax, enjoy yourselves, color a little bit, and just enjoy life a little bit. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.